I'm Bill Sheridan from Mason, Michigan, and I'm uh, the owner and broker of Sheridan Realty and Auction Company. Can you tell us a little bit about what you sell, what you began selling, and what you're selling now? We sell mostly real estate uh, today, and uh, we also sell uh, farm machinery and uh, some livestock, not a lot of livestock. And then uh, uh, when I started, I was in the livestock sale barn business, and I operated two livestock sale barns in the 70s and early 80s. And now it's primarily real estate and farm machinery and business liquidations. What auction years had an influence on your career? I'd have to say uh, one gentleman that had a big influence on my career was probably Ray Sims um, from Raymore, Missouri. And the other gentleman that had a big influence on my career was Merlin Woodruff uh, from Urbana, Ohio. Okay. Bill, you're an IAC champion. What did that do for your career? Well, it, it number one gave me a, a level of confidence uh, in my abilities uh, that I hadn't had before. Um, there's no question that uh, being an IAC champion has opened up many avenues to me that I wouldn't have had otherwise. I've, I've had the opportunity to go to Barrett-Jackson and to other places to sell cars and, and to do some things that I wouldn't have had the opportunity to do otherwise. Um, I'm not a contract auctioneer, so being an IAC champion didn't necessarily raise my commodity price in the marketplace, uh, and yet it uh, raised the level of uh, uh, my level of integrity at home. And, and, and we run a, a family-run business in our community, and I've always kind of enjoyed having a good relationship with many of the people, but it just was one more quiver in my bow and arrow. Uh, Quiver to uh, one more arrow, I should say, in my quiver to to help promote our company to a higher level. Well, um, your bid call—is there any special filler words you use that are unique, or what? What is what's the breakdown of your channel? My bid call is pretty simple. It's mainly just the numbers. Um, I, I teach a bid calling class at Repert uh, uh, Auction College uh, four times a year, and uh, my my. Uh, explanation there is very very clear and that is that it's the numbers that I use the, the, the dollar bid and uh, and I use the word here quite a bit 25 here now 30 here now 40 here 5 here like that that's been the hallmark of my chant okay what advice would you have for an upcoming auctioneer well, I would say probably in the world we live in today, if a person uh, was aspiring to get started in the auction industry, the best thing to do would to get connected with a, an established auction company and to work as a sales agent in that company and um, then possibly be able to grow to a point where they could either come into the company as a, as a principal or maybe begin their own company. But I think the best way to get started is to work with someone else, someone that's already established. Do you have an interesting or funny auction story you could share with us? Oh, um, I've, uh, I've had, uh, I, I guess probably the most interesting story I've had uh, that gives me a great deal of pride is um, I was selling a livestock auction up in Saginaw County and I always sell their 4-H livestock auction. and. Um, I arrived as I normally do about an hour and a half before the sale began and went in and the livestock superintendent told me there was going to be another auctioneer helping me that day. And I had usually supplied the ring men, but I was usually the bid caller. And um, I said, okay, who is it going to be? And they said, well, he's a gentleman out of Missouri. It's called Leroy Van Dyke. Well, I said, I, I, I sure know who that is. And they said, uh, would there be a problem if Leroy helped you sell? And I said, not at all, not at all. So Leroy came in about 2 o'clock in the afternoon and, and he sold the champion and reserve champion market lamb and I was standing right next to him and of course because I've been there for so long I kind of knew where the buyers were and was able to kind of hand feed the, the thing and we had a very, very successful sale. Leroy was all dressed up with his sequins and everything on his uh, outfit and everything and he stepped down and said, Bill, I'll see you later. So I shook hands with him and off he went. And he put in a performance at the uh, auditorium that night and um, about 9.30 I'm selling hogs which was the last category in the sale we'd had. We'd sold the steers and the lambs and I was selling the hogs and I had about three pages of hogs to sell yet and 
had some dusty climate <laughs> dinner, and it was getting to be a, a long evening, you know. And I felt a little tug in the back of my coat, and I looked around, here's Leroy Van Dyke. And Leroy's wearing a pair of jeans and a flannel shirt, and all totally dressed down. And he said, here's a cup of coffee, Bill. I thought maybe you'd like that. And I always kind of remembered that. That was really kind of something that's been special in my mind, anyway, as far as something that happened to me. Okay, one more thing. Could you sell an item for us? Maybe a tractor, something like that? Well, I can sell a 4020 tractor that does not have a cab on it. It has power shift transmission, and I'd like $7,000 for it. I'd hook it to 2500 now 3000 3500 now four, forty five hundred dollars dollars now 5000 dollars now 5200 6000 5800 now 6000 now 6100 Anywhere sold that tractor for 6100 Thank you, buyer number 405. Well, Bill, on behalf of the National Auction Foundation, we appreciate the interview. Thank you very much.